Hello and thank you for the opportunity to address you all today. Courage can only begin to describe what the last few months have demanded of you. And as we all know, long-term care homes have been the front line of COVID-19, not only here in Ontario, but all over the world. And I wanna thank the RNAO, all of you, for your incredible dedication to protecting our long-term care residents from this deadly virus. To Dr. Angela Cooper Braithwaite, thank you for your service as you complete your term as president. And to Dr. Doris Grinspun, we are so grateful for your partnership and collaboration throughout this pandemic. And of course, welcome to Morgan Hofarth, incoming president of the RNAO. This year marks the RNAO's 95th year. And on behalf of the Ontario government, congratulations to you all on this milestone. We are deeply appreciative for the care that you have shown Ontarians for nearly a century. Your work has never been as important as it is now. And as we continue in our fight against COVID-19, we know you are important partners. Before becoming an elected official, I was a family doctor for almost 30 years. And I know how important you are in your roles on the front lines of care. Some of you will remember SARS and H1N1 and how we got through those outbreaks together. Now we are confronting another threat, COVID-19. And once again, you are stepping up to the plate in a tremendous way. The RNAO has deployed VIA nurses, RNs, RPNs, PSWs, to over 240 long-term care homes in need over the past few months. The support this represents for our residents is astounding. They are our grandmothers and grandfathers, fathers and mothers, sisters and brothers, uncles and aunts, and you are giving them the care and dignity that they need at Ontario's time of need. Please know that there are teams across the province working around the clock to make sure you receive the resources that you and your colleagues need to get through this together. I've read the updates and releases from RNAO, including most recently a report summarizing recommendations made for long-term care over the past 20 years. There is no doubt that decades of neglect have amplified the tragedy of this pandemic in our long-term care homes. I want to assure you that our work continues to repair the long-standing issues in the long-term care system. From before the pandemic, our government has had a plan underway to modernize the long-term care sector and grow our heroic workforce. This includes using our $1.75 billion investment to build new capacity and redevelop older long-term care beds to modern standards. And we are also continuing to respond to the recommendations of the Gleese Inquiry. And as promised, we will be providing a report to the legislature on July 31st. And the staffing study that we launched in February continues to progress and will report back as part of the Gleese Inquiry. And that will be a response to that inquiry and will inform a comprehensive staffing strategy moving forward. We intend to deliver that staffing strategy by the end of the year. You will know better than most that these are essential pieces to protecting our most vulnerable and ensuring that long-term care homes are safe and comfortable places to live. Right now, the lessons we are learning are helping us respond aggressively to COVID-19. Whether through staffing supports, PPE, funding, appointing emergency management, or calling in hospitals and the Canadian Armed Forces, our government has put everything on the table in this fight to protect our most vulnerable. And we are acting fast to launch a fully independent, transparent and public commission in July so that we can get the answers right away about this tragedy in our long-term care homes. We must put measures in place to ensure this never happens again. And I look forward to your input to that commission. As Minister of Long-Term Care, I want you to know 
how grateful I am for all of you and all you are doing to support our long-term care homes. My mission is to support you. Working together, we will come out of this together and see brighter days ahead. Thank you for all you do.